The collection is moving in. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. This is my fifth room update of building my new Nintendo room, the third version of the Nintendo room, and I have five updates for this fifth video. First up though, my favorite thing about this new room is something that I put a lot of time into. I built a new display stand for my Smash Brothers Amiibo and I ended up putting all the Amiibo on it. So this is my display basically. My idea here is that I'm going to display all the Smash Brothers Amiibo on this one stand. The previous stand I had was not large enough, so this one's big enough to house the entire Amiibo collection that I have. I am missing just a few. I think there's the loot goblin amiibo by Diablo that I'm missing and then of course some Japanese ones I'm missing as well and I still have to unbox a few which are on the other side of the room which I'll get to they're over there at the bottom I'll get to those at some point and add them to this wall and I haven't even unboxed Mega Yarn Yoshi however let me know what you think of this Smash Brothers display I think it looks pretty cool and speaking of Smash Brothers there is a local youtuber I live in Canada and he's close by to me his name is Kakul Kid so I just want to show you some footage from his channel he does Super Smash Brothers in real life you can comment below his channel about who you would like to see him and his friends basically bring to life as Super Smash Brothers. So check it out. Press up, X, or Y to jump. Falcon kick. Yes. Come on. Super Smash Brothers in real life. That's amazing. My favorite thing probably is the Falcon Punch. I love the special effects. So there's a link in the description below the video if you want to check out his channel. I recommend you subscribe to him again. His name is Kukul Kid, And just help out a fellow YouTuber that's doing really cool creative stuff. Sticking with Smash Brothers, I do need to make a display for all of the games. So the games display is probably going to go up on the left over there at some point. And I also need to put up the champion's belt that I have. For pre-ordering Super Smash Brothers, I think it was for the Wii U. So those need to go up at some point. So that's update number one. Update number two, you already had a sneak peek about, and that was all of the games in these shelves that are slowly making their way in. There's no light in this closet, so I have installed some sort of a light. It is on this switch that you can use. I'm not sure if I'm in love with the color scheme, but I can make it any color I want. You can make it Nintendo red, or I can make it white. And I might change around where the lights are in here. The wires, I just need to clean up a little bit up there as well. So my idea down here is there's four Billy bookcases. Two of them are the full size, and two of them are a little bit smaller in terms of width. But when you come down into the Nintendo room, you can't really see around the corner. So you can see, I think, these two obviously quite well, and that one pretty well. But you can't make out this one, because you've got to come all the way around, as I said. So right now, I've just not optimized this, but I've put all of my cartridges in here just for now. Just to get them into the room so we can start playing and gaming and having some fun. So I did move in here my N64, my Super Nintendo, and my NES collection of cartridges for now. And I'm going to make this a little bit better, probably add more shelves to this. But I might custom design or build some sort of shelf, because these do come out quite a bit, and they're blocking the room a little bit. And also, the games you can just tell are buried all the way down back here anyways. There's a lot of space here. So if I make something a lot smaller, it might make this space feel a little bit bigger, and optimize the way I can display all of the games. Next up, I've been putting all the game boxes in here. So we have the NES collection and my Super Nintendo collection, and the Nintendo 64 collection has moved in. Anything that's cardboard, basically, I've been slowly moving in from the home consoles. Love collecting for the Super Nintendo, by the way. So many great RPGs. What's your favorite game for the Super Nintendo? I can't even name one of them, but I have been playing through Donkey Kong Country with my best friend, and we're having a lot of fun with that. The N64 was my first console that I ever had growing up, and I have a lot of fun with it. A lot of these are actually my games that I had from my childhood. You can comment below as well. Did you keep everything from your childhood? Or did you trade it in to something like GameStop and got like 25 cents for your games and then get a new system or something like that? So all the Mario games need to eventually go on the Mario wall. Most of them are buried inside of the shelf. So the Mario wall will be a work in progress, but it's not quite done yet. I've just been thinking about what to do to make that optimal and what shelves to use this time around in this Nintendo room. So update number two is games, but update number three is the Zelda wall. If you've been watching my videos, I did an unboxing video for this right here, which is creating a champion. This is uh, basically a guide of the game being made, and it also comes with a spirit orb in the secret shelf, which is pretty cool. 
But in the background for that video, you might have noticed some Zelda related items. And I do want to do a Zelda collection video or an update of that at some point. So here is my Zelda wall as a work in progress. The shelves on the side on the left here will eventually be the Nintendo Switch. On the right will eventually be the Wii U. But in between here will be the Legend of Zelda. And maybe at the bottom here will be something different. But we'll see. It might just all be Zelda stuff because Zelda's fantastic. So what you're seeing here right now is an Ocarina of Time poster, a Breath of the Wild poster, the Master Sword and Shield, but you also have all the Zelda games and most of the different variations dating all the way back to the original Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System, all the way to Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. Love Zelda. You can also comment below, what's your favorite Zelda game? My personal one is such a toss up between Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild and Wind Waker. Love those games personally. Update number four is the Pokemon wall. My idea here is the games will be in the middle in those shelves I already discussed, but the rest of this wall would be mostly Pokemon. So I have the Pokemon games in this one big shelf right here that you can see all of them, which looks pretty cool. And then on the right, I'm going to have all of the Pokemon Fit plushes that will be for the first generation of Pokemon. So this is looking pretty good. I love displaying these, especially with the cartridges out. If you're wondering, the cartridges are being displayed with something from Rose Colored Gaming, which you can buy stands for. So these are pretty cool, unique stands. Some of them actually have the characters on them. Love those. Those are really cool. And the boxes were always falling over. And then I remembered Retro Production at some point sent me boxes for all of these games. So I put these in protective boxes, especially because if there's some humidity in this basement. We had some mold growing in our cold cellar as well. So, now I have my games protected, which looks pretty good. So that's update number four. The Pokemon wall is kind of on its way. I also moved the magazine shelf in here. Thank you to my best man, Jordan, for getting me this magazine shelf years ago for free. He picked it up from a store that was closing. I think it was for free. And I'm going to put all my guides in here, but for now, it's just covered in Pokemon stuff. Love this set of the Pokemon collector figures of 151. There's a video up on my YouTube channel of this as well. Looks really, really cool. So that was update number four, and update number five, we're going to finish with how we started off. The collection is moving in. My Nintendo 64 wall is a good work in progress. I gently placed everything down for now, but for this Nintendo room, I'm thinking I'm going to actually display the systems right beside the boxes and the controllers. You can let me know what your thoughts about that are in the comments below, or if you would like me to display all the systems as I did previously in the light-up cabinets that were on either side of my TVs. So that needs to happen at some point, but I think it looks pretty good. Love it. Love the N64. The NES and the Super Nintendo should not be here. They should be along their own wall, which is the secret doors that I've been building, because this should all be for GameCube. And then over here, as I said previously, this should be for the Wii, but that's not everything in yet, that's just the systems. And then the Wii U, and then the Nintendo Switch will be over there. So, lastly, the secret door is on its way. I've been working on the shelf, especially this shelf that will be on the left. I've already cut the pieces that you can see there. I just need to put it together really carefully and make sure that the hinges work well, and that I can open and close. And someone mentioned that I might want to do some sort of Legend of Zelda sound chime when you open it up. I'll see if I can get that working because that would be really cool. I just need to look into that sort of tech and design. Lastly, I just want to note, one of my CRT TVs stopped working. So this one, I think it's pooched. I don't think it works anymore. So I need to make sure I can get on that and get it working. Thank you so much for watching my fifth update of the making the Nintendo Room version 3.0. I'm having some fun. The house is getting clean. I do need to show off what happened upstairs in our renovation, but I really appreciate you watching this video. Again, feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember, as always, go collect them all, keep smiling while gaming, and pay attention, I guess, for my next update as I build this Nintendo room in my new house.